Joining us with more from Kyiv is photographer Julia Kochetova. She has spent the last few weeks documenting this war. Julia, welcome. I can't imagine uh, what these last few weeks have been like for you. So thank you for joining us again. You've been documenting the war in Ukraine since the beginning. How have you seen the fighting develop over the past few weeks? And what is life in Kyiv like right now? Hi, everyone. Honestly, this time was the heaviest uh, one uh, in my life and in my career. If, uh, let's say, if Nazis started to burn books, Russians were burning and uh, are burning uh, raped Ukrainian women trying to hide war crimes they did here. And that was the first time in my career when you just can't hold your camera because it's not even saying about making pictures, but that's about human remains which you document. And when for the first time you've seen the uh, sign on the fence in Bucha saying people, children, and then you've seen the inscription corpses next to the burnt car. That's something which I still coping with and the whole is coping with. Um, it's like the, the war is getting pretty more violent. And if we're talking about Kiev, it's trying to come back to new normal life. Um, there are small shops and coffee places which are reopened uh, as well. And people are coming back. And it's so weird to witness uh, people on the streets when you remember Kiev just a few weeks ago at the ghost town. Um, but according to uh, Kiev mayor, he keeps saying that it's not, it's still not safe to to come back uh, to, to the capital. Wow. And I can imagine that juxtaposition being uh, so difficult to comprehend, especially with how disturbing the images are. What are you hearing from the people around you about their experiences and what has stood out to you? We coming back to our characters for several times in Bucha and that's something which uh, makes me feel not as a photographer, but as a citizen, but as a human, makes me feel better. We met on the first day after Bucha was retaken. We met the Granny Maria, the old lady. She lost the connection with her relatives. Uh, nobody from her family knows that she's actually alive. A Russian soldiers just took her SIM card from her phone, so there is no possibility to get the, to call the, her relatives. So. We just made a portrait of her and posted through social media and found her son. Mm. And then we came back to Bucha with this news and with humanitarian aid and with new mobile phones for locals as well. And like I felt that actually that's something about impact. I did that many stories so far in my career, but I've never felt that I did something right mm -hmm. and that I've changed someone's life so much. And that's something what's stuck in my head still, because for her, it was the last promise of humanity that we're coming and that we're coming back. And I guess that this feeling that your people, like my Ukrainian people about whom I'm documenting all these stories, they're waiting for me. That's something what drives me most right now. It is such important work that you are doing. And Julia Kochetova, thank you very much for your time.